faith in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. We just heard the sermon from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, on the parable of these bad renters or bad tenants. And in that parable, the son came to the vineyard, but unfortunately the renters rejected him, and he died. Well, the one that's baptized today received the son, and their life was changed, and they have borne fruit. Today we see Greg Cook baptized in obedience to the Lord. The only thing that is required for baptism is the most important thing, to trust in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And when you receive Him as the Lord of your life, He changes you, and you know Him, and God's light shines upon you. Now, Greg trusted in the Lord some months back. He had been coming to our church some, and as a young man, he had went to church and had been involved in a church, but he had a very serious condition. Was it a quadruple bypass? Quadruple bypass. And some of us got to pray with him and share with him. And uh, those things he learned from earlier days, the things of the gospel touched his heart and he called out to the Lord for salvation. He shared that testimony with me this week, which I was so glad to hear. And he has been seeking to live for the Lord here in our church. He wants to publicly share with all of us his faith in Christ to join our church. We are thankful for God's working in his life. Amen? Amen. So, Brother Greg, if you come down. Tears of joy here. Brother Greg, is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Yes, it is our privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Him in baptism and risen with Him in newness of life. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Why don't we all stand and let's have our benediction and let's pray for God's blessing.